Helicopters. Welcome to day eight of the Helicopter 3s. I'm shooting from my motel room up and doing my have helicopter will travel thing and new students doing awesome in two days, five flights and we've got him picking up, setting down, flying the pattern and and uh, it's going really, really well. It's a really, really neat deal. So having a blast with that. So day seven was the three things that combined together will get you into selling with power. Now I want to do the three situations conductive to selling with power. The three main situations that guys will get themselves into selling with power, which are number one is attempting to hover above the hovering ceiling, which makes complete sense. If you try to hover at a point that's above the ceiling, it's not going to do it. It's going to settle with power. Number two is hovering out of ground effect without precise attitude control. And the example there that we all like to use is photo flights. You're doing a photo flight and you're trying to hold a shot for a photographer and the wind's not directly off your nose. Maybe it's quartering off to the side and you're kind of paying attention to what he's doing more than what you are as far as the control of the aircraft and you can get yourself into selling with power that way. And then the third one of the most popular of the three, not that they're popular but, but very possible, is steep approach downwind which sounds pretty simple well we don't land downwind well most generally we don't land downwind but the the mistake pilots make is any of us could do this you think you know where the wind's at and maybe the wind has changed you've went from one airport to another or while you've been out flying the winds changed and you didn't realize that maybe you were landing downwind you didn't do the best check and you start doing a steep approach and the wind may be a little bit behind you very good possibility you're going to getting you're going to get into selling with power so those three again Attempting to hover above the hovering ceiling. Hovering out of ground effect without precise attitude control. And steep approach downwind. So those are the three main ways that guys get into it. So you've got to really be careful. Use good pilot technique and just don't put yourself in those situations. So welcome to day eight. Thanks for stopping by. And we will see you tomorrow. And... Leave comments and feedback, good or bad. Love to hear love to hear the comments. And we try to respond to everybody and and let you know what we think on your comments. So we'll see y'all later. Thanks a lot.